All right, man, just a great competition Tuesday today. I thought our kids really brought a lot of energy and juice. It was great to get out on the grass, uh, really got after each other. I thought we took some steps in the right direction. You know, I thought uh, thought Zach Wilkie had a really good day. You know, like I said after the game of the night, we're, we're pushing him along to, to play him as soon as he's ready. Uh, that could be this week, you know, because he's really taken some steps forward over the last few weeks. Uh, thought, our, thought our kids really got better. Thought saw some great physicalness in inside drill. Uh, thought our backs ran the ball well. Thought our wideouts caught it, tight ends. On the back end, I thought we've had a lot of leadership with Jay Stanley and Malik and Cam and Tylen, Dalen Gill again. And I thought our guys really got after today. It was good to see. Got some good special teams work. And we continue to build this program, right? We're really disappointed in the fact that we couldn't get that done this past week. We've got to learn from that. Like I've been telling y'all all season, we've got to learn how to stop doing those things that have hindered this program for so long. And we're going to. We've pulled this wagon up a really steep mountain, and eventually we're going to get it over. And when it gets over, it's going to roll down really fast. But that last pull is, is really probably the most difficult. And, man, we've got to have everybody on deck pulling that thing right now. And uh, just really proud of our kids today. Thought we got better. With, with exception of ball security, we kind of give me your take on uh, execution down in the low red zone. Yeah, yeah, we thought we were good. You know, we got the ball first to go with the five. We had a four and nine tenths yard run down to the one, and then we ran quarterback sneak and scored. You know what I mean? And uh, and unfortunately, we didn't get a credit for that. And so then we ran quarterback sneak again. They adjusted their front, and and it was just a bad play by Ty. You know, he, he ran up the middle. All he had to do was go right. They had nobody right on a quarterback sneak. You know, it's probably the first two quarterback sneaks he's ever run live in his life, and it was just a bad deal by him. Or we score again, and, uh, you know, I, I had a bad play call on the last one, a uh, bad play call on that one. So, you know, first to go to five, you get four and nine-tenths yards, then you score, and then, and then we had a, a poorly executed play and then a bad call, you know. So uh, that was disappointing to see, but uh, – you know, it is what it is. They're a really good football team, and it's, it's sometimes it's hard to score two times on, on one drive, and that's an excuse. It is what it is. We got to score more than once, and uh, but but we definitely got in on the quarterback sneak. Can you give any further update on Ty? Yeah, he was out there today getting reps, and uh, you know, first and foremost, Ty's a young kid that we love a lot, and we want the future for him more so than the present. We'll never sacrifice a kid's future and put that in jeopardy over the present. He wants to play, and we're going through the protocol of that with the health people, Todd McCall, our athletic trainer and all that, to uh, to get that sorted out. We saw um, Zach out there with the ones in yeah. Ty's absence. Is, is, has he claimed that number two spot at this point? Well, we're trying to get him ready to. You know what I mean? He's obviously the most talented of the group, and he's young. And, uh, you know, like I said, I've had five all-conference freshman quarterbacks in my career. One of them's at Tulane right now. He's a great player. And uh, we didn't play him until game three of that year. Actually, it was right out here in the rock. You know, we're going to play Zach when Zach's ready to play. And uh, we're not going to jeopardize his career, you know, until he is ready. You talk about Frank Gore Jr. just going back to Miami and playing a very good Miami ball club and what that's going to mean to him. And to yeah, you'd have to ask him. I know Frank loves Southern Miss like I do. You know, I love Southern Miss. Frank loves Southern Miss. We love this place. We're trying to build this place. We're pouring everything we got into it. It's back home for him. I'm sure he'll have a bunch of people there. But that, that, that'd be great for you to talk to him about because he's a, he's a passionate kid that is a lover and loves to impact people, and I'm sure it's going to mean a lot to him. Can you talk about Miami's offense and just a little bit more about Miami, what you know about it? Yeah, so, uh, you know, Coach Cristobal and Coach Mirabelle are two of the best O-line coaches in the country. You know, they've always done a great job in the trenches. They want to establish the run. I know both of them real well. And I've got great respect for them. They're going to always try to establish the run. They got a really good quarterback. They got a lot of athletes, and uh, they'll be a tremendous challenge for us. Will, how important is Frank to your to, to what you're trying to build? I mean, what kind of impact has he made already on on, on you trying to rebuild this program? He's just a winner, you know. And 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 we're kind of kindred spirits in that we're both not the biggest guys. We got a chip on our shoulder, and we're trying to prove prove people wrong. Uh, and he's willing to do whatever it takes. And uh, after the game, you know, he was one of the leaders telling everybody, hey, guys, you know, we're so much better than we used to be. We've got talent now. Uh, that's, a, that's an inexcusable way to lose a game, to turn it over like that. And uh, we've got to correct these mistakes. We've got a long season, you know, and, uh, and we've got to continue to build this place. Because, I mean, technically, Frank's just a sophomore, you know. And, uh, and, and, and most of those kids that play the night on offense, you know, outside of Brownlee and Gaynor and Doss, you know, they're all back. 
I believe, Gainer. Yeah. So every one of them are back, you know, when they're young and playing football. And we got to continue to coach them and get them better. Obviously, he's somebody you inherited. Um, mm -hmm. What was it like, I guess, trying to, to get him to buy in? What were those conversations like? <laughs> uh, he would probably tell you, and I would, that it was a little rocky at first. But most great relationships are. You know what I mean? Most great relationships have to go through some adversity, all right, to, to really find out how much you love each other. You know what I mean? Maybe kind of like me and our fans right now. You know what I mean? We're kind of going through a little adversity to find out how much we love each other. And I love Southern Miss, and I love our fan base, and I am working as hard as any human being can do to build this great program back. I love how passionate our fans are, and I appreciate them. And, uh, you know, we're going to work through this together, and there's going to be some really, really great days in the future as we build this thing. Coach, obviously Ty didn't get to finish the game, play the half. Uh, can you talk about some of the teachable moments for him and the time that he did play, like maybe go back to that – Maybe that zone drop by that backer on the slant, things of yeah, that Yeah, so he had two disastrous plays, and then he had a lot of great plays. You know what I mean? Like, he had some great runs, which we knew he would do. Uh, he slipped one time, making a safety miss. Could have been even a bigger one. He had two great deep ball throws to Brandon Hayes and Jason Brownlee. He just had a pick on the seam ball to uh, Brownlee where he threw it right to the linebacker. Really bad play. Great effort play. He tackled the guy, which was good. <laughs> and, uh, and then the tip pass was just a bad – that was a great play by their D lineman. It was a bad situation to be in. It was, he should have checked out of the play. We should have never ran the play with blitz right there. And then we got to make a not a bad play worse. We can't make a bad play a disastrous play. Outside of those two plays, he played a really, really good game. Now, those were two really bad plays that we got to learn from and correct because they really hurt us. Bill, I think uh, your wideouts collectively, I think, touched the ball four times. Yeah, uh, tough deal, right? Yeah, tough deal with the way the game went on. You know, we decided we went to the super back to start the second half and went right down the field and scored. And it became very apparent uh, that they were going to have a hard time moving the ball on us. We knew we were playing great defense. And it became apparent that we could move the ball on them doing that. And so I came into a mode of let's try to win a football game uh, more so than try to be cute. And uh, so we stayed with the super back and just tried to win a big game. And, you know, if we don't turn it over, we do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we scored to take the lead with a minute 50 left, and we were down inside the five and fumbled, you know, and we missed a field goal. So we moved the ball enough to win the game in the circumstances we were in and uh, just didn't get it done, and we got to correct those mistakes. Did you think uh, Willis had the touchdown on the first one after the going back and looking at it? On the turnover? Yeah. No, but I think we scored the time before that on the quarterback sneak. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The quarterback sneak was 100% a touchdown. I'm as sure that that quarterback sneak was a touchdown as I am that we're black and gold. <laughs> Coach, can you talk a little bit about the benefit of getting to play your two freshman tackles in this game? Uh, It was good. And Kyron Barnes played really good. He's going to be a really good player. Uh, He's got a lot of potential. Uh, great kid, and he played really good. And Calvin's coming along, too. I thought Calvin had a great attitude today and really worked hard. Should we expect the super back this weekend? Yeah, you, you should expect it some throughout the rest of the year. Yeah. yeah. It's just who we are right now with young quarterbacks, developing them, take some pressure off them, and to give the other teams something to protect, uh, prepare for to keep it simple on us. How do you keep a guy like, you know, Jason Brown, Lee Perry's casting on side, I guess, given what you're going through at quarterback right now? And, and oh, they understand. They know. Yeah, they know. No, they're all bought in. They're, they're, they're working with Ty and Wilkie. They know. I mean, they, they they know and understand. They love Southern Miss. Jason Brownlee loves Southern Miss. Jason Brownlee could have gone a bunch of places this year, you know, in the off season with the portal and everything. And he stayed here because he loves Southern Miss and loves this place like we all do. How do you think your offense matches up against Miami's defense? Well, it's going to be a tremendous challenge. They're really talented. Uh, you know, their D coordinators, uh, you know, been all the big places in the world and, 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 uh, and coached at all those places and has always done good. And, they got a lot of beef up front on the D-line. They're really athletic. And, uh, you know, so they, they've got all the credentials to be a great defense. And and uh, we got to go down there and put our best foot forward. One more for Coach. Will, what's what's it like, I guess, for you? You're kind of – you're not able to play offense the way that you, you, you want to, presumably, right now. Uh -huh. I mean, as a play caller. Well, that's my fault. I've been here two years. You know what I mean? So I take credit for that. We are going to be able to. All right. We just had a quarterback go down, and we could have kept playing offense that way too. We just went to the super back, and it worked so well that we stayed with it. You know what I mean? And uh, 
That's all that was. We didn't go into the game saying we're going to go super back the whole second half. And we didn't say we were going to go super back the whole second half when Ty got hurt. That was not the plan. It was just working so good that we stayed with it. 